What I'm doing here is I'm adding a delay to the program so that I have time to explain what's happening while the program's running. And now I'll go up and start the program. It's warning me that there's a delay. And it's moving to the front left corner of the block. And this would normally be a manual point. And then the front right corner, which also normally would be a manual point. I took those out because we haven't moved the part. Now the camera's focusing on locations on the top surface of the part. It will do this to align to the part and also set a Z0 for determining depths of the counter bores and uh, the post Z height. Now that that's done, it's measuring the front edge of the part. This will be used to line up the x-axis. And again, normally it would go much faster here, but because of the delay, that's what the pause is after the measurement. Now it's measuring the left edge of the part, and the uh, machine will use this left edge to intersect with the front edge to determine the origin point. And now that the alignment's done, the camera is measuring a through hole here and you can see how it's able to filter out uh, dust and dirt in the uh, image. Here it's measuring the bottom of a counter bore that's obviously uh, uh, concentric with that through hole. And also you can see that as it's measuring the results are shown in the bottom of the window. And in this view, the machine is measuring the diameter of the counter bore. And now the camera is measuring the bottom of a blind hole to give the, uh, the depth of that uh, step. And the last measurement is measuring another Z height, except this one is up above the alignment plane instead of being down in a counter bore or a, uh, uh, a depth inside the part.